What's up guys and welcome to Web Education's Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to set up a brand new iPhone from an iCloud backup. Now this is a brand new iPhone. It's a new iPhone 13 Pro Graphite Dual SIM. It's a brilliant phone. I'm just going to try and set it up for the first time. And I want you to come along with me as I try to set up this new iPhone from an iCloud backup. So the first thing obviously is to select your language. So I'm gonna go with English and then select your country or region. It's gonna suggest for you most of the time and all you need to do is tap on that. Now at this point, it's gonna suggest that you use Quick Start, which is basically Apple's mechanism of transferring data from one iPhone to another. But that's a whole other video which I'll link down in the description below. For now, tap on Setup Manually and then go ahead and select Written and Spoken Languages and you can see the preferred languages is English and Swahili and for the keyboard is English US or Swahili and that works for me. If it doesn't work for you, tap on customize settings and select your preferred language. But if it works for you, like it does for me, tap on continue. And then at this point, you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network. And the reason you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network is because you're setting up your iPhone through an iCloud backup. And to download data from iCloud, you need internet connection. So set up your Wi-Fi by entering your password. And once you connect to the network, it's going to move you to this page, the data and privacy page. You can read through that and tap on continue when you're done. And then the next step is to set up face ID, which I'm going to skip for now and tap on set up later and then enter a passcode. So I'm going to enter just a random passcode. And then this is a crucial page. This is a crucial part in this iPhone setup. So this is why you choose whether you want to restore from an iCloud backup or to restore from a Mac or PC or transfer directly from an iPhone, move data from Android or even don't transfer any apps or data. So since you're setting up this iPhone from an iCloud backup, select restore from iCloud backup. And then of course at this point you need to enter your Apple ID and later your Apple ID password. And with your Apple ID and password entered, tap on Next. And of course, if you've set up two-factor authentication, you'll need to verify that login. And with that out of the way, it's going to take you to the screen. And it's going to take you through the terms and conditions, which you need to read and agree. And then now the iPhone is setting up your Apple ID on this brand new iPhone. Now for me, I also have a Mac, which is signed in with my Apple ID. And Apple will go the extra step and ask me to enter my Mac password on my iPhone just to verify that it's me trying to set up this new iPhone. So I'll just enter that password. Now, if you don't have a Mac signed in with your Apple ID, you might not need to go through that process. And here we go. So once the brand new iPhone sets up your Apple ID and your iCloud account, it's going to go ahead and look for backups. And it has found this backup from 18th November 2018 which is probably the last time I backed up my iPhone to the iCloud. So I'm going to tap on that and then tap on continue on the next page. And then of course you'll need to set up your location services. For now, I want to disable that. Next is iCloud Keychain. And this is basically what keeps your passwords in your iCloud account and transfers your iClouds across Apple devices. So I'm going to tap on continue because I want to keep that. Screen time reports, iPhone analytics, uh, I don't want to share that. And then on the next page, I can choose whether I want light mode or dark mode. I always use iPhone in dark mode, so tap on continue. And there you go. So I'm currently restoring from an iCloud backup. Now this might take varying amounts of time depending on how much data you have in your iCloud account. Usually the free account doesn't have much data, so it should take a short time. And also, the speed of your internet connection matters because it's currently downloading data from your iCloud account. So the amount of data and your internet speed determine how much time you have to wait for this restoration. So we're currently about six minutes out. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done downloading. A few moments later. And there you go. So it's currently done. And I'm uh, just going to try and log into the iPhone. And it says restore completed. 
tap on continue and then once again i'll set up face id later terms and conditions always read before you agree and there you go and you can see everything has been imported you can see this is my iphone 10s max original wallpaper on my iphone 13 so it basically brought everything from my previous iphone 10s max from 2018 right into this iphone 13. all my apps are downloading and setting up instagram youtube google all the games i had in my previous iphone and basically all i have to do now is wait out until all these apps finish downloading and that's it my iphone has been set up from an icloud backup and that's how you can set up your own brand new iphone from an icloud backup thanks for watching you can leave your comments and questions down below don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips until the next one my name is chris and i'll talk to you guys soon